Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Today, let's take a look at an interesting technique used in graphics rendering to simulate a bumpy surface, called bump mapping. Of course, in order to explain this, we're going to have to go all the way back and look at how lighting computation is done in 3D graphics. But of course, this is Friday Minis, so I'll try to keep it simple. Basically, here's the deal. When you have a surface, what we do is we generate a surface normal. A normal is basically just a directional vector, you know, an arrow pointing in a particular direction, and it needs to be perpendicular to the surface. What this means is, you know, a surface in this direction has a normal that is sticking straight out of it. This is important since it actually tells us a lot of things about how this surface will interact with light. I mean, we're probably all familiar with, you know, the idea of how when light hits a surface, it bounces off at the same angle. This is basically what we try to figure out using the surface normal. So basically, given a light in a world and a 3D surface, we can figure out how much light the surface is getting based on its normal, you know, how closely it actually points to the direction of the light. And of course, we can also use it to determine where the bright highlight, called a specular highlight, is. So knowing all these, we can actually use a simple trick to make a surface appear rougher than it actually is. Let's look at a surface that actually has a bump. Let's take a look at the normals, you know, just from left to right, and let's see what happens as it goes past the bump. You see, as we climb onto the bump, we notice that the normals start getting perturbed. They are no longer, you know, pointing straight up, but they're pointing outwards. In bump mapping, we can actually emulate this effect. On a flat surface, if we were to actually perturb some of the normals, we can create an illusion of a bumpy surface. In fact, what you're seeing here is a bump map surface. And well, as you can clearly tell, it appears very rough, but in fact, isn't really rough at all. You can tell a difference between a bump map surface and an actually bumpy surface in 3D when you actually look at the surface edge on. What this means is just lower your viewpoint until you know, you're seeing the surface almost from its side, you'll notice that the actually bumpy surface still looks bumpy. Whereas, it's quite obvious that it's simply a trick of the light when it comes to the bump map surface. So there you go, a very simple little illusion that is done occasionally in 3D graphics to create, you know, the illusion of a bumpy surface. Anyway, that's all there is for this particular episode. I hope you learned something today. But until next time, you're watching 0612TV. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, consider checking out the rest of my work on my channel. Alternatively, you may be interested in a playlist of all the other episodes of Friday Minis. If you'd like to show me some monetary support, I am on Patreon. You can find a link to my campaign in the video description. Of course, you can simply like this video or leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond as soon as I can. To keep in touch with my future uploads, do subscribe to this channel. And for even more updates, check out the official Twitter account for this channel at 0612TV. Thank you for your support.